Welcome to the Lone Star College Football Show. I'm your host, Chris Daly. Each episode, I will bring you news and information about college football in Texas, not just the FBS school, anyone who plays college football in the great state of Texas. I will do so by talking with the people making it happen on the gridiron, the head coaches, the staff, the players, but mostly the head coaches. Thank you for joining us. And today... I sit down with Coach G.J. Kinney from the University of the Incarnate Word. This team has been on a tear. And we have to take a second to thank our title sponsor this year, Junior Smokehouse. Yeah, Junior Smokehouse, you you can find at juniorsjerky.com. They have Everything you can imagine, pork and venison sausage, beef sausage, all kinds of great dried meats, jerkies, wonderful spices, rubs, you name it. In fact, you have to go check out the website just to figure it out. There's great gift boxes. And I have to tell you, if you want to guarantee that your gift is ready by Christmas, make sure you go online and place your order before December 13th. They get very busy sending out uh, probably the most wonderful gift you can give somebody for Christmas. Some beef jerky, some dried sausage, some good manly food. That's Junior Smokehouse on Highway 59 in Texas between Wharton and El Campo. But, again, you can buy, find all of it online at juniorsjerky.com. You can also reach owner Lane Tabola and his staff at 979-531-0888. You can order online. You can order on the phone. You can go by like I do. Luckily, I'm so close to it. And check out some of the amazing processed meats they have. Such good stuff. That's Junior's Texas Best Smokehouse. All right, everybody join me in welcoming Coach G.J. Kinney from the University of the Incarnate Word to the show. How you doing, Coach? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I get to talk uh, football, so, you know, that's pretty good well, life. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, so, first off, congratulations on the big win this week. That was a that was a big one. Oh, yeah, that was huge. You know, getting the opportunity to go up to Nevada and, and uh, be the FBS program, a 2-0 and program, and, and uh, you know, our kids loved it. And, and uh, it was definitely exciting and a, a game changer for our program. Nice. And and talk to me about the flow of the game because cause, uh, it kind of turned midway through. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we had, to, we had to weather the storm early. You know, we came out and turned the ball over – two out of our first three plays and just kind of everything that could go wrong was going wrong. But I knew, and that's why I was, you know, preaching to the, the coaches on the headset and going over to the sideline, talking to the players, like, you know, let's just get in our rhythm. We're going to be fine. we got a good defense. They're, they're playing well. We're going to go out there. And, and uh, once we start going, we're going to be able to, they're not going to be able to stop us. So, um, you know, we just stuck to the plan, stuck to the, stuck to the script and we ended up you know scoring a lot of points and defense played really well and and uh really really got after him really dominated him for three quarters to be honest with you the first quarter just kind of started off a little slow nice and uh and if you could call out some of the players that uh that stepped up in this one because there was a lot <laughs> oh yeah obviously i think it starts with the quarterback with Lindsay scott a guy that you know he just He's just been really playing well. He's a great player and, and really fits, you know, what we do schematically. And and uh, Darion Chafin, I believe he had 265 yards receiving, two touchdowns, and, and uh, he had a heck of a game. And he's a he's a tall, um, you know, long uh, receiver. Great. He's a former basketball player. Got great ball skills. Very twitchy. Great at the line. Uh, mm-hmm. He had a heck of a day, and they had a hard time stopping him, uh, obviously. And then. Uh, Taylor Grimes, other receiver over there, he had over 100 yards. He just brings it every day, just a just a no nonsense kind of old school throwback player, man. That just just really gives defense fits, runs great routes, strong hands, um, played really well. And then 
then the the O line as a whole played really well. I mean, there was a play uh, they dropped eight on us, and uh, I mean, Lindsey stood back there for about five seconds running around. We had great protection, so O line did a great job. Running backs did a great job. Running back by kind of by committee. Um, yeah. So all those guys did a really good job, and then you know on defense, um, I think you got to start with with Chris Whitaker on this game. You know he had. <laughs> Four sacks and and uh, really got after the quarterback and then Kalechiani Lebeci another guy that you know he scooped and scored and and he's kind of the leader of the defense and and uh, big time player and and uh, another guy Brandon Richard you know he kind of stood out to me a little bit on back end and Caleb Culp another guy and and, uh, and all those guys up front you know Stephen Parker and Sam Latham and Cam Preston a bunch of guys up front really disrupted the you know, their quarterback and, and, uh, got after him. And I, I think that's kind of, you know, what makes us unique as far as, you know, our level of football, FCS and playing in the Southland, we got a, we got a big time defensive line. Um, I mean, they're, mm-hmm. they're really good and they, they really give uh, offenses uh, trouble. Nice. Well, it seems like the San Antonio area in general is becoming just a hot spot of really high quality college football yeah it really is it's really cool to see you know obviously the success that utsa's you know had and since trailers got there and trinity's playing really well i mean it, it's great for the city of san antonio and, and we you know the state of texas got the best high school football in america i've been a lot of places and we got a lot of great you know high schools and in San Antonio and, and, uh, you know, we, we recruit San Antonio like crazy and we got a bunch of players from, from this area and, and, uh, really good players. And so I think, like you said, man, it's a hotbed. Yeah, definitely. And, and, um, switching back to the Cardinals, you've got, um, back to back, just some serious offensive production. And, and it's not like you didn't have a good offensive team last year, but, but it's it's got to be amazing to see you put it. You're averaging what sixty points a game in the last couple. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've gotten quite a few texts about that. You know, average sixty. I mean, you know, we're we're just we're 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 just playing really well. I think the guys are executing, and and when we get rolling, um, like when we after we get that first first down, we're we're tough to stop. Um, we really are. We it's just for us, it's it's getting that first first down so we can kind of get into our rhythm and, and get into pace and. And uh, getting it going, man. But we've we have been we've been dangerous so far, and we got to continue to do that. Uh, you know, our coaches are working around the clock, and players are, are really bought in, and and uh, you know, so it's it's exciting time right now at UIW. Yeah, I said for people who don't know the program, how mature are are the kids? What classes are they? Uh, we, you know, we have a bunch of uh, older guys. Uh, we mm-hmm. have. I mean, now with the COVID, I, you know, I don't know if they're seniors or juniors or what they are, you know, because I don't know how to figure that all out. But, uh, you know, we have a, a good group of, of older guys, kind of core guys that have been here for a while. We've added some some transfers uh, in the portal. Um, and we also have some young guys, you know, like a guy, a freshman like DeKalen Taylor. He's our starting punt returner and, and uh, wide receiver slash running back. He kind of does a little bit of everything from Longview High School and, and uh so we we got a good good mix and and uh you know they've really bought into to what you know we're 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 selling here and, and preaching to them every day and and uh, so it's been a lot of fun nice and and uh what a way to start a, a road trip uh speaking of the road though you face prairie view a and m next yeah. uh what do you expect out of them man they're they're talented now uh, their offense i think will be the best we've faced uh wow. our defense is is, is uh you know they're preparing like crazy and, and uh same thing it starts with their quarterback we got to get after him and and uh so we're, we're gonna have our hands full with those guys and playing on the road again and and that's always a challenge and we know they're gonna have a great environment and great fans and great crowd and and uh so we got to come in here and and really play well if we if we want to win and and what do you what is their uh offense yeah they're they're going to be they, they like to be an open set um, mm-hmm. they're going to throw the ball around they're going to use the quarterback in the run game and, and uh so it it always just anytime the quarterback can run a little bit it always just adds that extra dimension definitely and what what's the focus 
for you this week when it comes to your kids? What are what are they focusing on? I think for us, you know, obviously we play Southeastern Louisiana next week, first conference game. We just came off a big win on the road versus Nevada. Um, and we can't take these guys lightly. Like I said, they've got the best offense right we've faced so far. And on defense, they, they you know, forced a couple of turnovers this past week. And, and uh, so we got to be on top of our game and just, you know, really just trying to be 1-0 and each day. You know, we've had a really good week of practice, and it's got to translate to the to the field on Saturday. Sounds good. Well, Coach Kenny, I want to thank you again for uh, taking the time out of your day, and uh, best of luck this week and this season. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. This podcast is certified fresh. Freshmediaworks.com. As always, I want to thank Junior Smokehouse, without whom this show would not be possible. If you get a chance, check out juniorsjerky.com. They have everything, and I mean it. If you like some good smoked meats, brisket, uh, spiced rubs, you name it, they have so many great things. Some sausage uh flavors they have are out of this world. I love it. And I'm I'm particularly a fan of the dried sausage, which they have a lot of great stuff there too. Check them out, juniorsjerky.com. And if you're in the area, they're on Highway 59 between Warden and El Campo. Well worth a stop. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank you for being a fan of college football in the Lone Star State. Until next time, I'm your host, Chris Daly, wishing you a great week and victory for your team.